What's up, what's up, it's your boy AD, and that's all day. I'm in the spot, y'all. And I just wanted to say, man, I called it. I called it in my last, uh, in my last Extreme Rules video. I called what was going to happen between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. I called it. I said it. I said, watch out for what happens on, on Extreme Rules. Watch how we're going to have to watch Becky, not Becky, but Bianca and Sasha tear each other apart. I said, watch that happen and show us shit. The first match that, the first main event match on SmackDown yesterday, where I still got my review coming. The first main event match on SmackDown yesterday was fucking them two against each other. Why Becky just sits on the sideline and interferes when we want, when she wants to for no reason. And gets to hold the title. This is such a slap in the face. This is like one of the biggest slaps in the face to me. Because it just don't make no sense. Like I said, how Sasha and Bianca were sitting there running things, doing great matches, performances, doing it big. Uh, trading back them titles it was good man bianca went on a huge run a huge run just to lose it in 20 seconds to becky who ain't been here in over a year and now and then we had to sit back and watch bianca not get anything from becky for a whole month just for them to finally have a match at, at extreme rules they finally had a match right and that, that don't even make no sense. Oh, so she could beat you just like that, steal your title. But a month later, now all of a sudden it's a regular match. And now the match is actually playing out. That don't make no damn sense. And and, and guess what? Sasha just has to come back and intervene and, and beat both of them up. So now Becky still keeps the title. If anything, Becky should have been in that match. Instead of being, I mean, just like when the match happened. Okay, they get their interests, they get their performances and stuff. But well, here come Becky, get her interest too. And gets to come out and sit on the side. Look, it ain't about Becky being a heel. I like heels. I like good heel work. But this isn't good heel work. And it's not really making a lot of sense. And the whole point of my this video was to say I called it. And something else I said, I was like, watch how they fight it out for a whole month. I said, you might get lucky to see Becky in some, but watch how they probably won't even exchange the titles at the next pay-per-view. Watch. So it's just going to be them fighting for nothing. And they put on a good match last night, man. They put on a good match last night. For what? Just for no clean wins. And Becky to just jump in and interfere for no reason. There is no reason for her to interfere. Yeah. I called it though. I called it. I said it and then when I seen that yesterday on SmackDown, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, mm-hmm. I knew they was gonna do this while Becky get to sit back and parlay with the belt. Come on, man. This is like I said, man, y'all need some help with the women's division. But I just wanted to make this quick video. I still gotta make the happy Corbin in the review, but I just wanted to get this out real quick. I called it. I knew they were gonna do that. I'll see you later.